as requested by one of the subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put pictures onto a CD or DVD if you want to use it on a computer, oh, view the pictures on another computer, or if you want to see them on your DVD player, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so here we have my folder with all the with my pictures. This is pictures that I took when I took a trip to the zoo. Now, you will need a blank CD or a blank DVD, and once you pop it in your CD drive, you might, if you're lucky, and this will make it a lot easier, if you get this window that co comes up called autoplay, in Windows 7, this is what it looks like. In Windows 8, you will get a notification on the upper right-hand corner that will tell you tap here to see what to do with the CD. All right. So for Windows 7, if you get this notification, click on where it says burn files to disk. On Windows 8, when you tap on that notification, it's going to give you an option. Make sure you select um, burn uh, files to disk also. All right. Now it's going to ask you, and this will be both on Windows 7 and Windows 8. It's going to ask you, do you want to use it as USB flash drive? Er, if you're going to use these pic see these pictures on another computer, select USB flash drive. If you're going to view them on a DVD player, select with the DVD player. All right. For this case, because most of you are probably going to want to see these pictures on a DVD player, and it will also work on the computer. So the second option with a CD DVD player will work on both a computer and a DVD player. So it's a good choice to select the second one because it works on both. You can go ahead and give this a title. We're going to name this My Pictures. Okay, click Next. And it's going to open this folder here. And you can go ahead and drag it to the side. And you can drag, or the other way around, you can drag windows to each side. That way you can select the ones you want. Let's say you only want uh, the pictures of the giraffes here. So I'm going to go ahead and select those, drag them over. So click and drag and put them in the folder for the disk. Once you're ready to burn, I'm just going to go ahead and put them all in there better. Once you're ready to burn the disk, it's just telling me I already have one of these open, but it's okay. All right, so there we have it. We have the files transferred over to the data he uh, folder here, to the CD folder. And once you're ready to burn, you go ahead and click up here where it says burn to disk on the upper uh, toolbar up here. Click on burn to disk. Again, you have to make a title for it. I'm just going to call it my pictures again. Recording speed, make sure you pick the highest speed that's on this list, which right now it's 8x. All right. And go ahead and click next. And it's going to burn it. Right now it's burning it. It's only five pictures. So it should burn it pretty, you know, fairly quick. It's burning right now. Thirty seconds left. Not really thirty seconds left. It's gonna do it faster than that. So this process is fairly simple, like I showed you. You just click and drag and drop the pictures to your to your disk folder and then you just click on burn and that's it after this is burned we will be able to see these pictures on a dvd player blu-ray player also because they play dvds also or on a computer all right and then just click finish and your cd will eject automatically i just heard it pop down here it ejected automatically and the cd is ready all right guys thanks for watching if you're a subscriber don't hesitate to request a video if you need a if you need me to make a video for you, don't hesitate to request. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I always upload new videos, new tutorials. I always keep you guys up to date with all the new tech news. And I'm even uh, making videos on political news, world news going around the world. So check those out. I'm making those also. So you'll see a little bit of everything in this channel from now on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.